Glenn Close, the highly versatile actress celebrated for her compelling performances, has significantly impacted the entertainment industry. Her extensive career, spanning decades, includes memorable roles in film, television, and theater. Despite widespread acclaim, there are interesting lesser-known facts and anecdotes about her life and career. From early Broadway days to standout film roles, Close's journey is filled with captivating twists. Her talent, dedication, and ability to portray diverse characters have made her an enduring symbol of the industry. Whether playing a determined lawyer, cunning villain, or troubled mother, her authentic and deep performances have earned numerous accolades. As we explore her story, we'll uncover funny, shocking, and poignant moments that shaped her career. Share your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this classic actor in the Kamala entrance below. We'd love to hear your stories. Keep watching for more insights into Glenn Close's fascinating journey. Glenn Close, the actress with many great performances, has been in some really good movies. If you're new to her work, you should definitely check out some of her best films. One of her most famous roles is in Fatal Attraction, a really intense thriller about a woman who becomes dangerously obsessed. Another movie you shouldn't miss is Dangerous Liaisons, a drama set in the past where Close plays a manipulative aristocrat. Fans also love The Wife, a touching drama about marriage and ambition. Another standout is Albert Nobbs, where Close plays a woman who lives as a man in 19th century Ireland. And if you're into animated films, you'll want to watch Tarzan, where Close voices a motherly gorilla named Kala. These movies give you a good look at the different kinds of characters Close can play. They're a really interesting way to see her talent and range as an actress. In The Big Chill, Sarah, portrayed by Glenn Close, shares a memorable bathtub scene with Harold, played by Kevin Kline. In another role as Cruel a Devil in 101 Dalmatians, Close, allergic to tobacco, chose herbal cigarettes for filming. She aimed to give Cruel a sharper, more villainous personality inspired by the animated original. Close's dedication to her craft show would as she scared some animals on set, but her efforts made Cruel more distinct and satisfying to watch as she faced her downfall. An actor's choices can significantly affect a character, bringing freshness to well-known roles. Glenn Close's Kamalime treatment to her craft shines in her transformative performances, leaving a lasting impression on movies. Glenn Close, recognized for her roles in various films, is not just an actress, but also an advocate. She founded Bring Change to Mind, a campaign in the U.S. aimed at fighting the stigma around mental illness. This is important to her because her sister Jessie struggles with bipolar disorder. One notable performance that earned recognition was Close's portrayal of Sarah in The Big Chill. Directed by Lawrence Kasten, the film featured a talented cast, including Tom Berenger, Jeff Goldblum, William Hurt, Kevin Kline, Mary Kay Place, Meg Tilly, and Jobeth Williams. Her role in the movie got her a nomination for Best Supporting Actress at the Oscars, making her the only nominee from a Best Picture nominated film that year. Her involvement in both the entertainment industry and mental health advocacy shows her dedication to making a positive difference in society both on and off the screen. Daughter of Dr. William Taliaferro Close and Bettine Close of Big Piney, Wyoming, she is connected to eight nieces and nephews. A New York Mets enthusiast, she once graced a Mets game with her rendition of the national anthem, Kamala commemorating the team's 20th anniversary of their 1986 World Series victory. Beyond her professional achievements, her family bonds and passion for baseball reveal her personal side. These different parts of her life show a deeper understanding of who she is outside of her work. Her ties to family and love for the Mets showcase another side of her character beyond just her roles on screen. Such glimpses into her life offer a richer understanding of the person behind the performances. This adds depth to her public image and shows her humanity. In both her work and personal interest, she continues to captivate audiences and show the complexity of human experiences. In May 2013, the acclaimed actress embarked on filming the movie Five to Seven on the busy streets of New York City. She comes from an artistic family background with her uncle residing in Littleton, Colorado. Interestingly, she has a rare allergy to tobacco, which posed a challenge during the production of 101 Dalmatians. To cope with this, she had to smoke over 200 herbal cigarettes during filming. And despite the obstacles, she remained commalantrated to her roles, showcasing her strong work ethic. Throughout her career, she has left a lasting impression on audiences with her captivating performances. 
Her talent is boundless, and she has overcome challenges to excel in her craft. Indeed, she is a true icon in the world of cinema, leaving a legacy that will be remembered for generations. This narrative celebrates her journey and her impact on the silver screen. Months after finishing filming Mary Riley, the producers asked the actors to film three different endings. For one of them, she flew back to London for just one day of work. In July of that year, she was in Surrey, England, filming Guardians of the Galaxy. Her family has been in Greenwich for 12 generations, and her family was one of the four that started the town in the late 1600s. Despite being very busy, she always enjoyed the times when she could reconnect with her family's history and explore it. This strong connection made her feel grounded, even as she worked in Hollywood. With each role she took, she brought pride from her heritage, making her performances more real. This deep family history not only shaped who she is, but also influenced how she acted, making her characters more interesting. Whether she was playing a character in old London or in space, there was always a part of her tied to her family's history, keeping her steady in the midst of Hollywood's craziness. Through her talent and hard work, she honored not just herself, but also her family's story. And as she continued to impress audiences with her acting, she remembered that her story was just one part of her family's bigger story, a story that went on for many years and had an impact on the world. Renowned for her acting skills, Glenn Close also has a deep affection for dogs, which she expresses through a blog called Lively Licks on Fetch.com. Her furry companions, two Montana Terriers named Bill and Jake, share her love. In the 1990 movie Hamlet, Glenn Close played the role of Mel Gibson's mother, despite being just nine years older than him. This surprising fact demonstrates her versatility as an actress. She shares a strong bond with billionaire investor Warren Buffett, who is a big fan of her drama series Damages. This shared appreciation has strengthened their friendship. Her love for dogs, her ability to take on age-defying roles, and her friendship with Warren Buffett reveal different aspects of her life beyond the screen. In the movie In and Out, she played herself. The film had a big cast, including two Oscar winners Kevin Kline and Whoopi Goldberg, along with five Oscar nominees Matt Dillon, Joan Cusack, Debbie Reynolds, June Squibb, and herself. In three movies up for Best Picture Oscars, such as The Big Chill, Fatal Attraction, and Dangerous Liaisons, she had important roles. Every time she appeared in a Best Picture nominee, she got an Oscar nomination for her acting. In The Big Chill, she played Sarah, William Hurt and Jeff Goldblum, who have also been in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, were also in it. Her impact on movies has been noticeable and acknowledged, particularly through her performances in highly praised films.